Hello and welcome to Project Reality. Now, what is Project Reality? Well, first things first, it's now completely and utterly free. Project Reality used to be a mod for Battlefield 2, but since it's gone standalone, you can download this today for free, get in and join us and have some fun in what's basically a realism mod. It's about as real as it gets with a first person shooter, and that's either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your mindset. So the first thing we're going to do when we come in is we're going to join a squad and that will show up your squad mates on the map as you can see on the right and there we can join and leave and create your own so forth so forth so if I wanted to be the automatic rifleman for example if I click on this and a spawn point up here which is a FOB uh, I can click done now if you can't click it it means that the, you can only have so many uh, specific roles within that squad and as you can see I've gone for the uh, support class or basically the machine gunner because uh, I like the big guns so the map can be a little bit confused whoa a suicide bomber there uh, the, there are lots of good things about this game and there are some bad points as a new player that is so I'm gonna highlight just some of the frustrations and things I've had now on the right is this class we have two options, we have optics for running around and shooting straight away or you can deploy it which means it takes a little bit longer to get the site up and get ready and fire and um, great as, obviously as a support class for aiming down roads and things like that and as you can see we have smoke grenades and restraints and each class there are lots of different classes such as riflemen, support class, engineers, anti-tank so forth and so forth lots and lots and I do mean lots is about 30 different vehicle types from APCs, tanks, um, you name it right up through to CAS, fast air, helicopters, all sorts Bradleys, 50 cals, all sorts uh, one of the first things for me was the audio I absolutely love the audio in this game it's better than ARMA it's almost as good as JSRS if you, any of you know what that is from ARMA 3 um, but anyway let's crack on so as a new player it is overwhelming, there is a lot to do and my first few games I actually got frustrated with it running around for 20 minutes, where the fuck is everybody, where do I go, what do I do? well it's a matter of bringing up the map and looking at your commander now you have a squad commander who will give you places to go on your map such as go here, defend, attack this area, so forth and so forth and then there is a higher command which will give your squads commands and it goes down the chain and I'm not going to go through all the buttons and everything else like that with you now, please murder holes, brilliant. I'm not going to go through all the um, intricacies of it for now, it's just a little overview on, on what I think of this game. I'm out here on my lonesome at the minute, it really is a team based game and if you can get on there, it's got built in its own team speak and, whoops. Death comes very, very quickly in this game. It doesn't take a lot of rounds to kill. Um, it also incorporates if you're running around, then your aim will take a long time to steady up and things like that. So being out on your own is not a good thing. You really do need to stick together with your team. Squad leader can actually build an FOB and bases around which you can spawn in and uh, things like that to make you getting around the map a little bit easier because some of these maps are huge two and a half kilometers wide on some of them and um, another point to make for me initially coming into this not so much on this map because uh, obviously it's the Raggeds uh, versus the uh, Marine Corps uh, a lot of the opfall very similar and it's hard to know when to engage and when not to engage yeah heal him up before you back pick towards the, guy. the door What the game does bring, and is really, really good at, is actually making it feel realistic. It's hard to explain unless you actually get in. You, you actually care about your life. It, um, it's such a, it's difficult to explain unless you actually get in, because the pace of the game's a lot slower, and the firefights are really quite intense. It's got a really, it's got a really brilliant feel to it. It feels realistic, even though the graphics are not the best. You actually forget about that. Like running across this street could be quite uh, interesting yeah. if there was enemy coming there are suicide trucks and all sorts so while I'm trying to learn the game I thought it was better that I just stick with these guys these guys know what they're doing there is an in-game local chat and a squad leader chat as well in-game 
Um, so I'm just going to stick with these guys. We've been given an option by our commander to move, and if you look at the bottom compass, the little down arrow means go to this location. And um, I'm just going to let this little play for 10-15 seconds, and then I have a question for anybody out there who knows how to play Project Reality. I'm going to ask you about a question on why would a certain things happen. So if you just watch this next little bit, I should explain in a minute. That depends. Yeah, I just dropped the, uh, I got the kid and swap. Oh, behind us. Enemy, south. Confirm this position. Oh, that hurt. Who's that? He's not dead. Not dead, okay. Grenade. Hey, take my kit. Now, this guy's a medic. This is what I don't understand. Not I use my field dressing, which will only give me about 20% of my health. But he asked me to swap kits with him to Please. revive him. I picked up the wrong one here. So he, this guy's a medic. He's asked me to pick his kit up. So I pick his kit up. So I'm now the medic. So I've used Epi, which he shouldn't have done. That's obviously because he's not unconscious. Right. So I'm going to heal him now with the medical supplies. And I keep a finger on you shall hear the bandit. What I want to know is, uh, can he not do this to himself? Can he not just drop his supplies on the okay, floor or heal himself as a medic? Is that the reason why we swap kit? Uh, what makes it worse is now I've healed him and I need injuring. Uh, I need uh, healing, should I say. He... A fucks off and leaves me. Out. Now, is that yes. inherent with this game? Just people doing as they want and not uh, helping others, or did I do something wrong? Obviously, I still need healing, and uh, he's not helping me, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, brilliant. So anybody can tell me. Overall, though, I have to say, I've actually really been quite enjoying it. This first few games, very, very frustrating don't know how you do things and it's really annoying uh, but the more you play it the more you start to realize it's actually pretty fucking good I do like the realism aspect of it, it feels very hardcore there's a fluid motion to the movement and the weapons and audio sounds really beefy and great so uh, I probably will do a couple more videos once I get into it I'll probably get some of the 16 AA lads as well to jump in and help me and give me an hand um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video so if anybody can help let me know and uh, I shall see you in some more project videos coming soon, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the battlefield. Bye bye. Medic! over here! Medic!